What's up guys, it's Barbike here, and we're going back into another episode of Slay the Spire, Library of Runa. So, last time, last time, we played a snoozer of a silent and died to shopkeep uh, in combination with one of the um, lobotomy cards. We're going with the defect this time. I'm not sure how good the defect will be with the way these cards work, but we're going to go in and try. Nonetheless, let's get that bucket back. I'm curious. Look back. Oh, this is new. Well, you look like you feel your spirit leaving your body and going to a strange place. You see a beautiful lady standing in front of you. Hello, excuse me. Excuse my bluntness. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Angela, an AI. The object you're carrying called Bucket belongs to the Lobotomy Corporation. And I stand before you, a representative of said corporation. Don't worry, I won't ask you to give it back. It's not, uh, and it's not your responsibility. It's rather your efforts that interest me. Now you may choose if you're not ready, but you make it sure. Uh, further, the answer is next time. But if you wish to give the bucket back, we'll compensate you. If you want to continue, we won't refuse, or it will benefit the both of us. Consider answer next time. Very well. Uh, you're back in the spire at the span of a single blink. Interesting. Ooh, also some jazzy music playing in the background. Um, very interesting. Little little bit of story progression here. I wasn't expecting. Um, hmm. Okay, I see the line. I think I'm gonna take lots of shops. We're gonna go across and then across and then see how that treats us. Early game here. So what I was saying is I. I'm curious how the um, how the lobotomy cards if they stay unlocked. Some people said they might not. I, I seen a comment that was then uh, rebuttaled, as in rebuked, um, as in removed uh, from the comments, saying something like that. So I'm not sure if they stick around. I hope they do. Um, it would make playing it much, and they do um, much more fun. Uh, I think I'm going to take new cards to start with here. Um, we have a little bit of stuff to play around with. Uh, early leap is fine with me. Not for or against it. Purple fire, fire spirits. What happens if you give a lobotomy card? Gave me five max HP. No, I healed five. Huh. I guess it's considered a, a common card, I guess. Portal to cross. Easy enough. And then we got a good question mark path here. Uh, I don't know if it was worth us throwing away our only the bottom card to start with, but I'm happy to uh, continue to grow and see what, what they end up offering. Uh, dual cast might have actually got the deal. Maybe. Not quite. I think we've been one short. Definitely will do it here, though. Okay. All right. Um... It can enter any hole in your body. That's perverted. Uh, Tales say the moon, but which man, despite its reality, man despairs at the moon. I'll go with the moon card. Uh, and then we'll just go streamline. Seems like a powerful option. I guess I should have unlocked this first. Uncontrolled. Temporarily change the current song to Luna Sonata. Has no effect if Luna Sonata is already playing. Interesting. Luna Sonata is playing game one strength and one dex. Okay, so I can't unlock any farther. So do we just have one extra strength and dex at the start of a combat? Uh, I'm kind of tempted. To, yeah, I'm going to take that regret to start with. It's going to suck this first elite fight, but that shop is very, very tempting. Yeah, we just get... I need to see what else. Like, there has to be some negative. Like, it, it, I feel like it's too nice just to give me one strength and one dex. Um, boop, play that. An easy second combat here. A oh, third combat, actually. Let's not let the regret. Oh, apparently I math wrong. I thought that was an easy, uh, easy done. Ooh, here we go. Okay. So what we know, horse girl. I remember increased damage for each card. Exhausted. When this card is exhausted, deal thirty damage to yourself. For each one card in your hand. Hmm. Horse card is a pretty good card. 
for each one card in your hand. Fairy Festival does not work really well if you want to play lobotomy cards. Um, Giant Mushroom I just don't want. I think I'll take one Scorch Girl. Depending on the, the like way we do, I don't think we should see a lot of exhaust cards. Uh, and one bean cell here. Fine. That's kind of what I was hoping was like a gremlin knob here for heavy damage with the Scorch Girl combo. That's what I want to see first. And there we go. Regret here does suck. Um, but this is 25. But it's also not considered a straight up attack. Uh, 16. I could get the leap. Yeah, let's do this. I think it'll be worth it overall. I was hoping to see the streamline a little sooner here. One strength and one dex. Pretty nice. We're going to take 10 here, but hopefully we'll kill him next turn. Forge girl or... Yeah, there we go. That'll do it. Without issue. Ooh, and we got some stuff here. Um, turning wheels, whenever you draw a hand. Uh, that is does nothing for us. I do not need the block. It's going to exhaust cards in our deck. We have another another one with guns. Now you become the sky and I become the land. Never forget. Nope. Taking this one. The other one's too loud. I'll try the loud car cards while. Another strand. Do wild claw? Do wild is always interesting, but I think I'll take claw. Well, that streamline would have been fine, but. You, you, we know uh, what crazy things to that claw can do. Also, yes. Uh, Yang, Lobotomy, Game One. I don't know why. Weird. It wasn't a card. It was a artifact. Game One artifact at the start of your turn. Does that is really? If active, relic will lose effect if you don't have. Oh, is it related to this card we have? Yep. Okay. Uh, at the start of combat, activate bar. Right click to disable it. Okay, I need to see what more this card does. Um, I don't have a lot of bucket points. Game one buffer. If we play it. Uh, after activating Yang, for no less than two turns, this card become enemy units on opposing sides of the screen. So if I just never activate Yang. I'm fine. I can't unlock more. There might be like a, it activates after so long, but just two for a buffer. Kind of fine. Super means good. Always happy for some more AoE. Uh, I'll pick up and get a random curse. Eh. Gremlin Horn is pretty, pretty sweet. Take a Gremlin Horn. Take a Claw. Remove the Regret. Pretty okay with that. Do not fight the Shopkeeper because he is a mean, mean man. Parker Alagast is fine. More AoE and protection from all enemies. And another shopkeep. Ooh, unceasing top is super good. There's treasure map. I'm always like kind of impressed by that. Oh, there's some good stuff here. An upgraded card you play in your hand. No. no. Oh, actually. Another claw. Not as powerful as the last one because we were playing some stuff for free. Uh, Rose would loot whenever you block damage. Exactly. Nope. Never will happen. I mean, by never, I mean it would very rarely. Roots of understanding. To understand what is beyond comprehension, see them dreaming. Okay. Lots of thorns. I'm gonna be good in AOE. I wish I had my Scorch Girl. Um, I guess I defend Ice Sweeping Beam here. Take a crap ton of damage. Ugh. Ugh. I should block and hit another one. Ouch. How much damage? Oh, they're exhausting cards. If they exhaust Scorch Girl, I'm gonna be sad. There it is. One buffer. Uh, uh. I think what I do, this is 10. They do 12. Let's do this. Yep. Do that and do this. Gain energy back. Okay, we didn't take any damage. Go ahead with buffer. That is... Weird. Okay, apparently I need to look at what that does. It kind of restarted the fight. Oh, and we just took 29 damage for no reason. Um, uh, I don't know what is happening now. Everything costs exponentially more now? 
I'm so confused. <laughs> okay. Uh, mirror of adjustment. We've seen that. Note from the crazed researcher. You die now. Let's try this one. Backward clock. Actor. Record your current state. The next time you activate this relic, power restore to that state. Not entirely reliable. Lose this relic. Okay. Let's try this one. And no more of these. None of these are very useful to us. Uh, we're going to go here for a rest. I want to try fixing this card again. Where are you at? Oh, Yin, Yin is gone. There must have been some other condition to it that I just didn't see, apparently. That I just never unlocked it completely. Uh, graphite block at the end of every turn. I cannot unlock it farther. That took 30 of it. Okay. Oh, fine. Nothing too weird. 15. Streamline is 6. Draw a card. Kill you for the energy back. I mean, I just need... Yeah, one good strike does it. Uh, ooh, I still like Dream of the Black Swan. Its whole thing is it doesn't want to be exhausted. You need to discard it. Now, i never seen Elijah. I do like it. But we should continue just like trying new cards, though. As cool as old cards are, we need some, uh, some interestingness into our sets. Burning line? Yeah. I don't care with that. We need a better draw engine for our claws. Is another thing I'm kind of noticing here. Pew pew! There's that five block. And it looks like it starts in the beginning of combat. There's enough syrup to make you watch. Uh, I don't remember picking that one up. That one seems a little off to me. Uh, let's sweep and beam first. No streamline. Okay. Cool. Block some random damage. Weird. Alright, here's the 35. We can split them, so we should definitely interrupt them. They're going to suck just a, a, a wee bit. Okay. I was expecting us to take more damage again. Um, Scorch Girl is great here. Boom, interrupt them both. Not the best interruption, but I think you're frail, you're weak. Get that weakness. And let's hit them both again. That's fine. One good AoE card would kill them, but that's great there. Sweeping Beam will make quick work there. All right. Three energy. Yep, they are all dead. That was bad. I'm pretty happy with that, actually. So these are all rare cards. So I came up with a brilliant idea. Sounds like my jam. Um, I want to see if I can pick you out. Oop. Oh, it is not a rare card, but it is Latia, who we actually like a lot. Well, as in we don't like the elite, we like the card. This card is in your hand. Every card you play gains a gift. That sounds spooky. I don't know if I like that. Latia's gifts aren't always nice. Draw one fewer cards. I don't like that, but it is the way I'm going to go about it. Oh, we got Death Pigeon. Not a fan, not a fan, but we will see. Uh, ooh, I like the bonfire. Light shop. Um, there's a really heavy rest path here, which I'm super for. Hello, Shield Parasite. We're not friends. Sweeping beam. So I think one of the things I want to prioritize. I should have like Blackbird's Clock at some point. Okay. Card is in your hand. Every card play gains a gift. So let's watch. Six damage. Looks like I did six. I can't tell. Looked pretty normal still. Maybe I need to get that next upgrade. Oh, wait. You. I know you. I feel like I'm going to get hurt if I play that. It's either if I play it or if I don't play it. I don't know what the correct move is. But I think that's Latia doing that. We've seen that before. With certain cards. We're also frail. And we're also... Okay, we're gaining five additional block from one of the cards. Uh, seek. Oh, we just drew us a card apparently. Um, Scorch Girl and Streamline are actually good together. Streamline here. 
24 more. Uh, yeah, with the explosive potion, we can get the kill. Let's not take 18. I mean, I think it'd been 13, but alas, I don't want to do. Uh, yeah, let's take another card. Okay, 124 in our bucket. Guys, let's go ahead and continue. Oh, wait. Meat Lantern. Grants five block at the. Oh, is this the one that does this? Okay. At the start of combat, this card attaches itself to a random card. If the attached card is played, deal 50 damage to yourself. Test will. Okay, that is what it is. 50 damage, and that's from Meat Lantern. Okay. Latia. The cost of this card of cards with gift is reduced by one. What's the downside? That does fit with the uh, other card does. Lose all my gold. No, I'd rather kill you guys. I want that red mask. And there's one I can't play. This is actually a very poo-poo hand to start with. All right, we're going to lose dex. Two dex, too. Gross. Uh, Scorch Girl here is fantastic. Okay, let's do that. Got that draw. Uh, let's go for dual cast first. I think that actually just killed them both. Yep. Heavy AoE is super good. Starts from a warm hug. That sounds lovely. Grape. Uh, or not zero. It's actually pretty good for what we're doing. First in the flames. Um, all right. Okay, so this one you pay HP for gold and stuff. I think I would take some gold. Give me some more. Take a little bit. 500. One more. Okay. <laughs> 600 gold is enough for now. Thieves, I don't... Oh, even better. Violent Noon. Great for us. I feel like the last one we did was Noon. But I'm not quite sure. Alright, so it's another one of these ones where... Monster's not here. Let's, so let's go ahead. I guess set up a zap. Pretty good. Everything being exhausted as we play it. It is. Play no more cards. I don't know where the monster is. Yep, up in the screen. What? Why did we die? We were pretty full. We were at 36 health. That's kind of nonsense. Just slap for nothing. I don't think I'm okay with that one as much. Because you have no chance to interact. You don't know what he's doing. I guess you can memorize what the creature does, but... At the same time, that's that one I don't like as much. Uh, look back. Alright, let's continue through this. Uh, answer next time, so I guess we have to win. Okay. Weird. All right, um, bonfire to elites seems pretty good. I don't think I want to take the early shop. Not really too necessary yet. Okay, I guess maybe something important might have got exhausted, like uh, the um, scorched girl. That might have made sense, um, but it did feel very abrupt for no reason. So now that I'm thinking about it in hindsight. It's probably- we're also missing a card. Huh. Take the shot today one. Alright. Cards, and let's go ahead. 200. You have, uh, the face. Oh, gain zero block. Nice. Face, uh, the face on this card changes with the time. The block value of this card changes according to the face displayed. Okay, uh, the values are 12. Uh, six, one, negative value, uh, values deal damage to you instead. Okay. How often does it change? Is it like, as played it changes, or? Huh. Interesting. I don't know exactly how that one's going to work quite yet. Gonna deal that. One of you are dead, which is good. It's not actually expecting quite that much damage, but we'll take it. That's 12. They have 15. So let's just... Uh, oh, we could have got them because of the lightning. It's fine. One extra turn is not the end of the world. I have zero currently. If I play it... 
that actually give me six i cannot i guess it maybe it just always displays zero um we'll just take another random card for now tempest aggregate tempest is pretty good let's try that try building a little bit differently this time it's sad so i'm assuming it's not going to provide good stuff for us i uh, taking four right now and it looks like it just changes as the time changes um it seems to not have that much of a rhyme or reason for what it's doing so you probably could just like wait for it to change Ella Luno is fine but i'm going to continue grabbing some random ones um just to see how we can diversify the deck a little bit and honestly this is totally fine for chill i just picked it up because why not but i'll take it for now uh we're 16 here Ugh. i'm going to tempest i think no so, i think that's the best setup i can do but it's just a big hit right off the top all right um i don't know what these do yet so we're just gonna pass he's gonna get interrupted that's fine with me super sad here so i'm not gonna do anything and oh man another like bad hand oh very mad i won't very happy and again i think i could sit around and let it turn faces but i also don't want to sit around and let it turn faces i feel like this just slows down the game it's like grinding until your hp is at 100 percent so that's like a little out of the spirit of what uh, the game really wants you to do four one and we're out okay oh i'm kind of mad at all these ones actually not this one but that one doesn't really help me because i don't want to spend money hologram no i'm good 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 let's continue smith on the tempest so it's always value even though i play it for zero um log of ulan that's fine so yeah now it should be six because it was smiling i get it i just want a big tempest and it's not here okay there we go Bajoom! super tempest and i'm also going to drink this sharpness potion i think i'll need it this is gonna be a slow fight don't have a ton that was the 12 one so very good um i mean we'll block again might as well i don't know what the other cards do so i don't really want to play them yet oh dual cast and double attack here well we're gonna take the 18 oh we're so close two away really could use some uh whatchamacallit some focus here radium chain whenever you play a power that one's cool and with the defect, it could probably lead to some good synergies, so. Let's see what we can do. Fragment of the Universe, I was kind of okay with. Like, as a concept. Yeah, we're not exhausting cards, so let's take that. It's actually just a, like, good card. Backfires, doesn't matter. No. Uh, to all enemies, seven. To all enemies. That's a pretty good card, just in general. I think I'll take a copy. Let's rest here. They're about to get up in our fancy fight in a minute. Ancient T sets fine. Oh, and this will be good against them. Let's double block here and we're just gonna poke. Whoever has the highest HP, I think. We're gonna hit him with the Omega Cannon in a minute. There it is. So this is 28. Pretty good. What are backfires? Status, deal four damage and exhaust at your turn. Okay. Not bad. Pretty much like two, um, who's my what's it? Two burns. I was going to see if this turns to happy again. I just kind of wanted to give it some time. See if you could wait on it and theoretically, like, game the system if it's like a matter of dying or surviving here. But really, it looks like it's just going to be pissed. I don't know if I could, like, wait amount of time maybe it changes once during the turn you get it oh there's not there's indifferent which i think is nothing angry again maybe it's just like a lower chance of being good for you because this is negative six the other one's negative 12 i assume yeah it's just like alternating between those two i'm not gonna wait all day here 
I don't want to put any of you guys through that specifically. Uh, Tempest, I think, does it. It does. 100%. Not too bad. Mummified. Ooh. Okay. We get we got something going here. I'm taking this. Because I got I got an idea. Uh leap. We just need to survive a little bit here. Okay. Oh no. Doubt. Green Dawn. Okay. We just need to get through this. And then we'll see what happens. Omega Cannon. Almost does it. Do these have any they don't say they have any wear effects. They're doing 15 damage to us. That's fine. Okay. One of them, two of them are dead? It went in the wrong way. I mean they're still dead. Only took 10. Leap. Strike one just in case. And you're dead. Cool. Living is pain. Understood, my friend. Alright, reward. Uh, backwards clock. Mirror of adjustment. Let's try this one. There, there I said. Draw an additional card. Each turn, whenever you play six cards, shuffle a dazed. Huh, that's fun. Uh, I don't want any of these. I want to try to build into what we got going here. We need more powers, though. Is our hands going to get, start getting nutty once we start... Get to that point, and that's 30 damage for two. That's pretty good. The only thing we're kind of lacking here is ways to deal with these backfires. Oh, this is gross. And we need to start, we'll have to unlock some of these cards too. Hit you, hit you, because I don't know what they do, and I'm like too afraid to play them. And we will probably rest up here. Oh, there we go, six block. Evoke, that one's dead. Seven in, I will hit you. So, good hand. Three attacks, we got this. Or a Mega Cannon. That also works. Uh, it really wants me to go with these Scorch Girl. Big Bad Wolf. Let's try that one. Mm, another Leap is good. Alright, we're gonna go here. Um, We might get to remove a card at that. I'm gonna disagree this time. Just in case. Uh, also, let's go ahead and do some some playing around here. Um, okay. Unlock. Old lady, deal nine damage. Whenever this card is in your hand, increase this cost by one for every other card you play. Playing this card reduces cost by zero. Okay. So it needs to be the first card you play each turn? Relatively fine. Okay. One sin and hundred of good deeds. Remove a random debuff from yourself. That's just fine. That has no negative. After playing this card three times, exhaust. Five random cards. That's terrible. The fourth time you play this card, heal 30 HP and remove this card from your deck. Okay, not great, but I mean, I see its benefit, I suppose. And I, yeah, I did, I did unlock all that one. Uh, Big Bad Wolf. Might be the big bad wolf whenever your HP, whenever below 50% of your max HP and deal. Yep. Have this card in your hand at the end of your turn. Randomly devour a card from your draw pile. Playing this card returns the devoured card. Okay. If you draw this card while the bleeding effect triggered this same buff effect. I don't know what the rest of this. I don't really like this one. I mean, right now it's fine, but. Oh, this was what I was afraid of. I was hoping to get a rest here, really. The storyteller is brutal. In terms of, like, making you take damage. You can't just beat her to death, unfortunately. Alright, um... Oh. I mean, you just want to kind of play this for no reason. We'll block. Uh, I kind of want to go ahead and drink this. Could be safe. Uh, electrodynamics is great. Free electrodynamics is great. This is, you remember when I said there's something that we could be doing here? Uh, that is it. Block. So. We have a, well, we got a bunch of value out of that one, but. Something heartless is going to be the call here because we can kill them fairly easy because of this. This should do it, right? 
Uh, and then nine more. Yeah, they're both dead. Cool. And we're applying a crap ton of language. A, ten, a three slime. I'd rather have. The, I would like this. Because sometimes we gain gear. Yeah. Actually, not the one I would want. Um, I have to play this hour. He's lost five random cards. Honestly, I'm going to play this. I want the healing here. Big Bad Wolf is actually fine. Uh, I need a block once, and then I want to start getting these slimes out. Easy enough. Um, I mean, I got to anger the mushrooms. I can't take more damage. Um, Omega Cannon just ends them immediately. So there's like a dual cast here. Yeah, they're dead. Oh, we're doing more damage because of Big Bad Wolf. I hate that you don't see it though. That's a little bit annoying. Heal 10, that's what I needed here. I was very self-conscious. The fact that I was not dealing, uh, that I was in such a poor state. Oh, I think we're fine now. Uh, add the dazes, that's fine. I think I can live with that. I actually don't wanna play Cherry Blossom anymore, I don't think. Keep hitting her. And I'm thinking the, the, the random remove debuff actually is pretty great in certain cases oh, i can play this again i don't know what the benefit of playing it another time is go ahead and defend nine coming in these guys have a ton of health already i think they're fine they're just actually protecting the just the gremlin they're like omega cannon would be really good uh i mean i guess i'm taking zero damage two times oh mind blast here actually Fairly nice. 32 damage. That should... Oh, it's a one enemy, though. It's not an AoE. Mm, I mean, I just want to hit this Gremlin Wizard out of here, I think. Make sure he's actually killable. Next turn. Down to one. I think we can do it. Okay. Charging up. Yep. And they protected the wrong people. Um... Yes, slowed here. Okay. You're dead, which is perfect. Leap here, defend here, we're good. Yep, more block, which is annoying, but I kind of just want to take five. Yep, that's fine. I be the big bad. I don't know if playing that does anything really, for me specifically. Hit you and you're dead. Okay, we've hit equilibrium here. Continue. Um, let's just add two wounds. Our deck's already garbage anyway. They're planning on leaving, so let's hit them. Let's leap. Defend. Let's make sure we are fully maxed out on defensive capabilities. Thank you for coming. And they're gone. Storyteller down. Nice. Okay, we're missing one here, which I don't really like. Free extraction. Okay. Take the one we don't know. Electrodynamics is pretty sweet. Just as a card. I start to with the zero cost pile <laughs> draw pile. Yeah. Yeah, that's how you start getting nutty. I This is uh, feeling very similar to what we did last time with the claws, except in a different scale. Iridium chain is just ridiculous. Okay. Uh, there's a, a late line shop, which I'm kind of okay with. I think I'll just go here. Early elite. Not too bad. Oh. What is wrong with you? T6. What's T6? Hey, come here. What are you? Uh, put a card from your exhaust pot into your hand. Okay. Post this card by two after playing it. Reduce the cost by one when drawing it. Okay. It's higher than to produce interference. I don't want to know what interference is. But we know we can just play it for like one. Or does it start higher than two? I assume that's what the interference is right there. Um, look at one more time. You know, it starts at one. Playing it, reduce cost when drawing it. Okay, so I assume maybe it starts at three. And then, um, after it cycles around once, it goes down to two, etc. Okay. Um, Cherry Blossom here is fine. 
I actually kind of want to get it out of the deck, so I'm just going to continue to play it a little bit. Tempest here's pretty good. Old Lady's fine. You look sad today, my friend. Um, do I want to Tempest here, or do I want to do something else? Play the sad today, man. And 20 damage is kind of a lot here. I don't... I guess I'll do this. I guess I'll do this. Really wanted to kind of wanted Electrodynamics out first, but... Same time, I guess it doesn't matter. I say there's Electrodynamics, but here's 30 damage across the board. Which clears up a lot of fights. Um, I kind of want to... Ah, we'll just... We want to continue adding to our bucket. I was like, do I really need this? But yeah, I kind of want it. Uh, a crit of AI is super good. They get upgraded though. Three upgraded tackles. Trigger a trap. How many strikes do I have? Four? Sure. Remove one strike, add a tackle. And they're upgraded, so. I don't see really why not. That. We'll do Shy Guy probably. Yep, there's Happy Shy Guy. Then we'll just Omega Cannon. And then just continue with our day. 30 damage for two is always very good. And then this is just a lot of free value. Okay. Actually, there's... See, this is what I was talking about when I was saying this would be very good. Because you actually don't really... This is... Oh, I, I did end up playing that. That's weird. I wasn't expecting to be able to. Uh, this combination with Vim is very good because we still get a lot of value out of our hand for doing this. But yep. No. Oh, they're just dead. Uh, we really need something. Some storms is what we're looking for next. But we're, we're working on it. White noise. Very good here. Seafield Q would also have been very good. Uh, I'm not losing 400 gold. You guys will go down. <laughs> okay. Uh, Vim. 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 White noise. Buffer. Okay. That's as much value as we apparently can get. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's play it this. Dual cast. We have one buffer. So we're going to take... Lose it immediately, but... We are kind of set up here. For six energy every turn. Creative AI. Make something else free. Just tackle. Uh, let's leap, tackle, and then I don't really know what these cards do. Let's see if I can figure out. E1. What do you do? Add two random cards from your disco pile to your hand. If this card is in your hand at the end of your turn, deal five damage to yourself. All right, let's play Forsaken Murder. This one, right? Yep. And then we'll fragment. That's fine. I'm okay with all that. Okay. Creative AI, there's the storm. And then you play this, and then I actually don't think it matters here. Because I'll do this to kill most of them, and then this on top of it. Actually, he survived, which is actually very surprising to me. Okay. Now you're dead, right? Yep. Red mask, another card here. Oh, we already know all these ones. I don't want them currently. I want to unlock what I have. Speaking of which, cards, um, Forsaken Murder. So that's it for you. So I got to play you. The Snow Queen. Apply slow. Exhaust. When this card is exhaust, freeze a random card, increase its cost by nine, and add a duel into your hand. It will require a non frozen attack card to activate. Damage value is more likely to exceed. After succeeding, it will reduce the cost of the frozen card by nine and gain three hit points. If the do fails, exhaust the selected card and the frozen card. Weird. I'm gonna have to like play with that because I don't get it specifically, and I also don't know if it'll matter in some cases. But oh, applying slow is very good. But we have some gas mask non-sensors, sweepers, to be exact. Oh, a good starting hand too for this. Them. Them. Uh, white noise here. Crystallizer. Really hoping, hoping to hit something different there. Ah, oh, we did get creative AI. That's the one I wanted. Okay. Fine. Got a daze, apparently. 
And we're gonna tackle one of these little hooligans. Okay, that's the whole hand. Everything else exhaust, but we're kind of set up already. Ow. That one really hurt. I don't know why it hurt more than the other ones. Okay, we took enough damage. I understand. Pastor, make something free. Um, block. Oh, wait, I gotta play old lady. I forgot. Just started with that. That was my bad. Big bad wolf. Free defend. Free leap. Start with that. Problem is, I need some payoff for playing powers. Yeah, because we're still faulty. Oh, there's Echo Farm. Uh, um, the first card you play each turn? I mean, that's what I want to play. But they're all dealing 20 damage, so I don't know if I can. Like, am I dead specifically here? Eight. Wait, let me think. That'd be 50 damage if I drink this potion. 50 so close to kill. Oh, wait. I can do other things, too, though. Let's start with this. Because that, yeah, that kills most of them. And then we do this. And that should uh, kill the last one, right? Especially if he's slow. Oh, duel. Let's not play that right now. Yeah, we got through it just barely. Uh, there's the train one. And we got... We can change anything. About it. Actually, only in the first turn of each combat. Turn, you lose one HP and gain 10 gold. Ooh, so that's like a risk reward thing. Uh, uh, I'm gonna skip these for now. I don't really want more cards. I need to get like stabilized first. Uh, I was gonna go to elite. We're gonna go rest. I need some of that HP back. I, I kind of risked a lot of it away. Playing a little bit more recklessly than I really need to. Die lady. I just want to do creative AI here just to, to get it gone. We'll play this. We'll play this. I think we'll also dual cast here. I really need the storms. Is like kind of a crux of what we're doing here. The deck's kind of like super nonsense right now. Um, there's honestly some I don't even really want to play. That I'm playing anyway. Old lady again. I'm just gonna take eight here for no like real reason. I guess so. Plus the backfire. Ow! We're hemorrhaging HP very quickly. White noise, creative AI. Um, I mean we got two free leaps, so we'll play those two. Leap, leap, defend, cherry blossom. I, that eventually that'll heal me. I don't know if it has to be played all in the same turn, though. So I'm, like, worried about, I guess. I was hoping for a healing spell. Uh, he's dead now. Like, uh... Whatchamacallit? Self-repair. Another white noise is good. I mean, it's like free energy. Uh, let's smith. I need to start smithing some of these. Probably the white noises more than anything. Yeah. These being free, like, give us free value off of themselves. I want to go for the elite fight. Going to. Potion belt is not great, but it's fine. And this should be an okay fight. Okay. Slow to you. Okay. I don't want to duel. I think if I don't. Something should be frozen. Oh, it's that defend. Keep it. Pastor. Um, defend here. Tackle does 22 damage. Pastor again. Um, duel, tackle. I think it did something. I'm not sure what it did specifically, but whatever it did, I hope it was good. And then we have plenty of orb slots now, so. Ow. Okay. White noise. Or not, yeah, nothing else. Static discharge. Zap. Murderer. Oh, shit. You came back. I don't really care about you specifically. Uh, do you get happy at some point? They're not doing any damn wizard's about to mess me up though. I can't do something about it. 22. Yeah, let's actually kill the wizard here. Kind of sucks. I should have put the other stack discharge first though. Okay, we'll go for that for now. Gonna attack, I assume. Yep, 33. Okay. Old lady, leap. 
Oh man, I can't. I think we're still dead here. Yeah, it's super dead. Out of my own terms almost. I mean, I can take the counter, but... No, we just hemorrhaged too much HP. In my head, it was a very good build, but... In practice, it was like too slow. Too very slow, but... It was fun. Lots of random stuff done. Got some, uh, got to play, and what I really like is unlocking more cards. Once we get them all unlocked, we can actually, like, start trying to, like, focus. Like, the swan build, or, like, this build. Right now, it's just, like, adding cards and just unlocking the pool, uh, in general. But, that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you wanna see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.